Hi everyone. I am Pravin from Catch Sign Tech. I'm originally from Chennai, India. Currently living and working in London as a full stack JavaScript specialist and also a director of engineering for one of the Fortune 50 companies. Currently, the Girl Script Summer of Code 2023 is on and a lot of people are trying to contribute to the open source as a first timer. So this video is about what exactly is GSSOC? What am I doing? What is your role as a contributor or a mentor? And then what do you get about it? So basically, Cats and Tech is my own women in tech community, which is mainly for people who want to join the tech area and explore a lot of new cool things that are happening around tech and with a complete supportive environment as well. Basically, I am a YouTuber as well as a swag hunter. I love mentoring people and I have been working with a lot of hackathons. That's me. Let's get into the video now. So what is GirlScript Summer of Code? What is GirlScript? GirlScript is an open source organization which is striving to make a lot of open source related stuff easily accessible to a lot of people. And GirlScript Summer of Code is a three month long program open source program which aims at beginners to get started with open source more information you can have a look at the gssoc website it is almost similar to like a small scale version of google summer of code that's what i would like to say what is open source whenever people want to create a new software or something but they don't want to do it all by alone but if they want to also send it to outside, like for example, you, me, anyone who has access to tech and internet, if they want to collaborate with it, they are free to do it. They are free to use it. That's open source. But there is a huge story behind open source as well. The way I tell as a storytelling mode in a classroom environment. So check out the link in the description for more elaborate answer for what open source is. Cats and Tech is a very supportive women in tech community that I founded a couple of years ago and it has got a lot of people right now around 400 plus members and it's very much exclusive for women in tech and those who are completely beginners you are always welcome. The first thing is it is a completely supportive environment for all the women in tech to learn about the latest tech tools and what all things are happening around the world and you would also be able to learn totally new things. You can also hear from our Cats and Tech members in the next video but here's the gist of it. If you want LinkedIn Premium, if you want Canva Pro, every single thing is available here and if you are planning to take up some course or certification exams, people are very supportive of that as well. People share their about uh, share their interview experiences and those things are really, really helpful. That's Cats and Tech. And if you want to join us, reach out to me. You just need to be a woman in tech and who is passionate as well. I would like to share with everyone what people say about Cats and Tech and starting with San's one small cool video, we will go with the others. There are so many but here's one for you. Hey everyone, I am Sanj and I'm a recent BCA graduate and a member of Cats and Tech community, which is basically a woman in tech community. Here, women from the diverse fields, ranging from the experienced professionals to the beginners are here, all united by the shared passion for the technology. One of the most remarkable aspect of our community is the strong network we have built for the women just like the cats which comes in different shapes, sizes and colors, so do the women in tech. Hair women comes with different skill set and bring their different experiences and perspectives on the table. It is a platform where you can easily connect with each other, share your ideas. If someone needs help in any technical question or any coding question, there is always someone with a helping hand to help them. Recently, I have seen a lot of GitHub profiles that have got modified into a lot of cool things. They are putting a lot of graphs, they are putting a lot of images, they are putting a lot of content that are completely mesmerizing. 
there are some retro github profiles as well so how do they make all these things is there a generator no let's make a generator yes let's use react js yes this is a project which actually makes use of react js node js front end development and also a couple of cool tech skills and other things that are people working on and we are going to make cool github readme page generators github readme is an amazing feature by github go check it out if you haven't tried it if you have got an idea of it come here let's develop the best github readme generator in the world cool basically there are so many open source enthusiasts here like eddie jordy and other people have created github readme's like anything and i wanted something out of it basically i don't want to miss out on all these amazing github readme's that's the only reason i want to make the generator so that not us every one of us want to make the generator so that no one is missing out on all these amazing things i hope this is a good motivation aha coming to the tech stacks this is going to be the very crucial one so basically since this is an open source competition or a program you need to know the basics of git and github for this and secondly once you know how to use git and github along with creating issues and pull requests you need to start with the programming language and other things basically this is a front end development and you need to know the html css javascript and es6 because we are going to use react js in this one so along with react js if you know node js this will be very much beneficial and finally having the knowledge of scss for syntactically style sheets that would be helping you a lot so these are the complete tech stacks that you need to know and moreover everything if you know just the beginner side of things that's all enough because we are here to support you in every step of the development process for any open source project the contribution guidelines are pretty straightforward and similar so i have got this complete documentation how you want to contribute look at the contribution.md read through it look for all the possible solutions for the issues that have been raised by others if not if you feel that okay this is a really good opportunity for you to make an impact by adding some features go for it if you find any bugs raise that as well it would be really nice to discuss with me but at the same time go ahead take some authority and do it that is what i would like you to do take your time think about it and go in look at the contribution guidelines that will help you a lot bit and there is also a complete video about how best you can contribute to this coming soon all the best we will be using a methodology called agile methodology this methodology has been used in almost all the big industries currently i'm working for a fintech a fortune 50 company similar to jp morgan chase and morgan stanley in all these companies we use something called as agile methodology and we are going to use the same methodology here as well there will be a sneak peek for you to learn these things very cool in your early days so that you would be employment ready how does that sound here's the big question what is it net for you so basically if you join this project and join gs soc and start contributing number 1 this is going to be your amazing step to get into open source if you are a beginner and have never done open source in your lifetime number 2 this is going to be a really good project for your portfolio and you can also tell this in your cv and your prospective employer as well number 3 you will learn how to work in a team number 4 you will see the methods that's been used in big companies or big industries the amazing people who are mentors are already working in big companies so you can get the guidance from them as well i hope these things are 
needed these things are enough for you to get motivated to start working oh if not you'd be winning cash prizes and if you are contributing to my personal project this project you would be getting a lot of stickers goodies how about these things or this one so there are like so many amazing things that you can get from this one this is for you yeah.